my dear students once again i am welcoming you to the online session of science now i am going to discuss the remaining part of the first chapter so let's start our discussion what is digestion digestion is a process in which the food we eat is broken down into simple and soluble substances that are absorbed by the body so what do you mean by the digestion the process by which the food we eat is broken down into simple and soluble substances that are absorbed by the body is known as digestion let us understand what happens to the food in our body <coughs> This is the whole diagram of our digestive system. At first, what we eat, it comes in our mouth and teeth chew and grind the food. This food mixes with the saliva. Saliva breaks the starch of food into simple sugars and also makes the food soft. After that, food goes through the esophagus. That means the food pipe. What food pipes do? Actually, food pipes helps to uh, passes the food into the stomach. After that, food comes into the stomach. What is stomach? Stomach is like a muscular bag in which food is churned and mixed with digestive juice. From the stomach, it comes into small intestine. These are the small intestine. What is small intestine? Small intestine is like a long coil tube that produces some digestive juice and the process of digestion completes here. After uh, from the small intestine it goes to the large intestine and in large intestine it holds the undigested food absorb extra water from it and from feces. Faces means the semi-solid waste and at last it goes to the anus. In anus, undigested semi-solid waste is passed out as stool through it. <clears throat> now here I have to discuss about two organs. Two more organs left here. One is pancreas. What is pancreas and what is the function of the pancreas? Pancreas produces juices that helps to digest carbohydrate, fat, proteins in small intestine. And liver, liver produces the bile that helps to digest fat in small intestine. This is the liver and this is pancreas. Now, we are coming in the next point that is junk food. What is junk food? Some food items like french fries, chips, cakes and pizza are tasty but very very unhealthy for us. They are called the junk foods. Now we must have to follow some good eating habits for proper digestion. For that thing we should always take our meals in a pleasant environment. We should eat a balanced diet. We should eat at a regular interval. We should eat fresh and clean food. We should chew the food well before swallowing. We should drink 8 to 10 glasses of water every day. We should eat a lot of green vegetables and fruits. And we must have to avoid overeating. Now, we know that our uh, mother always cooked the food. Uh, and now I shall tell you uh, why we cook the food. We cook the food because it makes the food more tasty, makes the food soft and easy to digest and also kills the germs present in the food. Now, food preservation. What is food preservation? The process by which we can prevent the food items from getting spoiled for a long time is known as food preservation. The ways of food preservation. There are many ways for preserving the food items like refrigeration and deep freezing, bottling and canning, drying and pickling and gelling. In refrigeration and deep freezing, refrigerator cools down the food to a very low temperature and deep freezer freezes the food. In bottling and canning, food is sealed in bottles and cans after killing the germs. This does not allow the growth of microbes for a long time till the cans or bottles are opened. 
Now in drying, food is dried by removing all water content from it and this prevents the food from spoiling. In pickling and jelling, salt and oil in pickles and sugar in jams and jellies act as preservatives. They prevent the growth of microbes for a long time. And after this point, actually your chapter totally ends. But so now I want to give a quick revision from where today I have started. Today I have started from digestion. So what is digestion? Digestion is a process in which the food we eat is broken down into simple and soluble substances that are absorbed by the body. And in digestion, I have told you that at first uh, we take the food in the mouth and then we chew the food with the help of the teeth. Then it goes through the esophagus. After that it comes in the uh, stomach and from the stomach it goes to the small intestine and from there it goes to the large intestine and at last it goes to the anus and after that i have told you what is junk food means junk foods like chips cake pizza that are junk food because they are very unhealthy and i have told you some good eating habits and why do we cook food and at last i have told you food preservation what is food preservation the process by which we can prevent the food items from getting spoiled for a long time is known as food preservation and there are a uh, lot of ways for preserving the food uh, some ways to preserve the food are refrigeration and deep freezing bottling and canning drying and pickling and jelling so that's all for today. Thank you everyone.